I spent $2,000 testing Andromeda so that you don't have to. What's up guys? Today's video, we're going over some updates on Andromeda. And uh, this is probably gonna be a theme on the channel because Facebook just changed the game. They changed everything. The good part about this guys is I actually think it's gonna make our lives easier over the next, well, forever, hopefully, uh, with how Meta's doing things. Before, I didn't trust Zuck as far as I could throw him. And that still may be the case, but I'm starting to give Meta a bit more of the reins in terms of allowing them to distribute budgets to ads and, and test things uh, for us. So it's made testing a little bit easier. This really is changing our structure. I had to go update a bunch of stuff in LeadBase Pro um, after I just filmed a bunch of stuff in our course. Probably should have thought about that. Um, filmed a bunch of new stuff that is a little bit less relevant now with Andromeda. So I just refilmed that in LeadBase Pro. You can join for $99 a month and I'm not gonna try and upsell you some $15,000 one-on-one guru course. You get everything for $99 a month. Full course, how to get leads, how to get clients weekly calls with myself and my business partner and other coaches, other experts. We have the founders of leadcapture.io and lead prosper in the group. Um, we have so many freaking beauties in there that are helping us learn, especially about Andromeda. We're all chatting about this right now and learning as we go. You can join 350 other entrepreneurs, but let's jump on the computer guys. And I'll talk about the old way we were testing and the new way we are now testing with Andromeda with a, an example of um, some spending that I did. I spent about $2,000 testing this and I'm going to show you why I'm giving Facebook more of the reins on testing creatives and trusting it a little bit more. Okay, so here's the old way that we used to test ads. And I'm just gonna go over it quickly so you understand where I'm coming from here. This was kind of spearheaded originally by two guys in the group, Chris and George, who've been in LeeBase Pro for over at least a year now. And they're well-respected voices in the group. We kind of figured this out, or you know, they kind of figured this out because it got so frustrating trying to trust Meta with spending the right amount of money on a creative on the best creative. So if you threw 10 ads into an ad set with Meta and you've never tested ads before as a brand new account, you had no idea where it was gonna spend. It would spend like, out of that 100, it might spend 80 bucks on an ad with like a 0.3% click through rate. And you're like, why is it doing this? It's just wasting my money on this ad that doesn't convert at all. And you'll see barely any spend on an ad, you know, 10 bucks on an ad that's got two leads. And you're like, why is Facebook not spending money on that ad? And so you couldn't actually test properly with, with the algorithm, the old algorithm anyway. With the new algorithm, however, it's actually starting to spend money on the right ads. I'm gonna show you an example of that. I've got screenshots in a second, or I'm gonna show you exactly how it works now. But in the, the old way that we would do this is we'd create 20 ad sets, we'd have one ad per ad set and put $5 uh, per ad set budget. You didn't need 20 ads, however much you could afford, but you'd wanna spend about at least $5 per ad set, ideally more, and we'd force Facebook to spend, you know, over four days, $20 on a single creative, on every single creative so we can know if they're working. We'd look at the click-through rate, we'd scale the winning ads, that had a better click-through rate and turn off the ads that didn't. And they're all in separate ad sets. We had complete control over this. Then we'd be able to, excuse me, determine the winners and throw the winners into a scaling ad set, which didn't always work either because Facebook was just trying to learn at this point. The learning was very slow. And we'd throw them into a scaling ad set though, make some micro variations and kind of scale that and increase the budget. Okay, so that's how we used to do things. We had to do this because Facebook simply would not spend money on the right creative. And they, they'd told us they'd promised that this would be a thing forever, like literally years, but they, it never was a thing. They never spent money on the right ads and it was just super inefficient. That's the old a way that we used to do things. I thought this still might be the way we were doing things and I had to kind of refilm this entire video because I had to rethink this over the weekend. This is not how I'm gonna be doing things anymore. I do think you could still maintain some control and maybe have, you know, Maybe you have more like five ad sets with like three ads per ad set and maintain some control that could be viable. And I don't know the perfect way to do this yet. I've been chatting with Chris on one of the posts in LeeBase Pro about this, about how to best do this. We don't know the perfect way to do it, but the more and more people I talk to, the more people are trusting the algorithm and seeing success. The guy on the pro call the other day said he put all his 20 ads into one ad set and just it cut his lead cost in half. By the way, you can have more than 10 ads in an ad set now. You can have unlimited ads in an ad set. You can throw 50 of them in there and let Facebook do the spending. And again, the important thing to do as well is think about the consumer journey and think about people along that consumer journey. Instead of before just having like a bunch of different types of ads willy-nilly, now we're trying to think about somebody who, let's say solar, for example, uh, has a high electricity bill, or let's even go like, they have a high electricity bill, they don't even know they're spending a lot. We could have an ad for them. They have a high electricity bill and they... They already know that and they want to get out of it. We could have an ad for them. They 
understand solar is an option. They think it's a scam. They are looking and shopping around for solar. And there's this whole spectrum of people along this journey. We need an ad for all of them because that's going to help Facebook target better. And creativity, creative diversity is going to be how the, the algorithm actually works. So the problem is, coming back to this, is if we try and control everything down to the minutia, then we're not giving Facebook any of those the, the actual targeting algorithm Andromeda, we're not giving it anything to work with. We're just having, we have too much control at that point. So then maybe there's a hybrid between these two methods that's the best, but this is what I'm doing now. Okay, so the new method, the new method is I want to still be able to split test something. And maybe I'll end up determining this is, there's too much going on here. Maybe we need to break this down into like six ad sets with five ads each. I, this is what I've been doing so far. So the goal of this is to determine the effective hook while still maintaining creative diversity, which again, if you haven't watched my last video on the channel, I talk about Facebook's new you know, term creative diversity and what the new algorithm means. There's a presentation on that. So go and watch that. But I wanna be able to figure out, still, I need to figure out what the best hook is. I at least wanna know, you know, if I'm going in the right direction at this point. So I don't wanna throw all my ads into one ad set to start if I have a brand new account. If you already been running an account for a while, you've spent like several thousand dollars, you can probably go ahead and have one or two ad sets and and just kind of like throw your best ads in there and start, you know, try and test. Maybe you have a sandbox, you're testing new things, you're doing, you are doing some micro variations, although you can't rely on those. Uh, but if you're in a brand new account, this is basically what I'd be doing. And this is gonna depend on your budget. My camera died from the sheer volume of content that I've been filming. <clears throat> my voice is dying as well, uh, but let's try and get through this video. Okay, so I have my creative diversity within my ad set. You don't need three, this isn't some magic number. This is just what I'm kind of testing right now. So the hooks that I'm using here, there's, there's some caveats here. And again, I'm not an expert at this yet because I'm learning. And anyone who claims they're an expert already is probably lying to you. So what I'm trying is, I wanna, I wanna see what, what hook is working. So I might do, hook one might be like, see how much you can save on your electricity bill if this is solar. Hook two would be, did you know costs are going up? You gotta read this thing. <clears throat> hook three could be, you know, Jenny didn't realize she could save $8 billion on her bill every month, okay? So kind of like completely different concepts but testing out different creatives. You're still having the diff the same creative diversity. So ad one is always a Canva ad, uh, but in the first one, it's see how much you can save an electricity bill. The second one is costs are going up by 87% this month. You gotta read this. Hook three would be, you know, Tanya didn't realize she could save so much money on her bill. So testing different, just different hooks and concepts out, but still maintaining creative diversity. In the long run, we're gonna wanna combine all of those concepts into one ad set, but this, I just still want to maintain a little bit of control and at least have some, just, just really, that is, that's it. Just some control over the ads that I'm running. That's what I'm doing right now. Again, you could just blindly trust the algorithm and throw all of your ads into one ad set and seems to be spending pretty good. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to do this as far as I can tell yet. And again, you could even go more segmented than this if you wanted to, but it, it seems to make sense in terms of wherever you know, if, you, if you're going ad set budget, inside that ad set, you need some creative diversity for targeting to work properly. So I might change my mind on this in like a week and I'll have to do a video on it. But this is probably what I'm looking at. Maybe actually, maybe it's gonna be combining two of these. So having like, maybe it's not even hook one and hook two, but just ad set one, ad set two, having 15 ads in ad set one, 15 ads in ad set two, testing some sort, you know, split testing something there. Again, sorry, I don't have a, I wish I had a better answer for you guys, but I'll show you an example of what I did here. So I did spend about $2,000 testing this. What I did notice at least, this is a good sign, is this is 10 ads, like, like above here. This is two, you know, hook one, hook two. <clears throat> this is 10 ads inside of an ad set, and it's actually spending on the ads for the most part that have a better click-through rate. So obviously it's skewed the spend here, amount spent 200, 189, 133, 95, 35, 21 all the way down to three, but you can see they're under 1% down here and they're over 1% above. So it's actually spending this, it literally never did this before. It never spent properly before. You can see on the right side here, 239, 114, 102, 64. We've got some decent click-through rates and then there is a 2% down here, which is weird, but overall I'm seeing proper spend on the right ads. And again, it's not even, it's less about this now because the algorithm is actually finally tapping into kind of the deep learning that Facebook has done over the years. And even if we have this ad down here that has this 2% click-through rate, um, I'd have to look at specifically what this ad is. You know, this could be for one person in the consumer journey. So Facebook's only showed it to, well, you know, 193 people, but 
four people clicked and they're a certain type of person. Each ad here is for a different person and that's where the targeting is coming from. Whereas if you had one very similar ad across the board, you might only hit one piece of that audience. Because you can think of this big pie of audience. If you have one, one type of creative, you're only getting one piece of the pie. If you have a bunch of different creatives, you're hitting all these people who respond to different types of actors, who are different ages, who have different opinions, different political beliefs, different consumer journey levels that they're on. There's all these different, again, at the end of the day, we kind of talk about this algorithm that it's like, it's going to do all this stuff, but it's like, at the end of the day, these are human beings that are seeing an ad and reacting to it with their lizard brain. And so we need to think about every single different type of person that we could possibly be hitting here, rather than the traditional marketing sense of creating like one or two avatars and being like, that's our target person. That's our target market. Obviously, you know, let's say women happen to buy your product. Sure, you can have ads that are more focused towards women, but maybe there's like 10% or 15% men that you also need to be accounting for. Or what are the different types of, you know, women that you're targeting? Is it, you know, older women, younger women, living in different areas, all these different things are very important to consider. So hopefully this is helpful. I want to just give you an idea of how this is changing. Again, instead of having all this control, there's some sort of combination here that I think is going to work best. The good thing is, as long as you have creative diversity, I don't think the structure matters too much. And you might end up seeing me do something more like uh, maybe two ad sets with 20 ads per ad set. Um, a couple of people are doing something more like that. But at the end of the day, if you take away anything from this video, and if you have a smaller budget, if you just had 50 bucks to spend, you, you can throw all your ads into one ad set now. Give Facebook the reins. We're going to have to trust them. All right, guys, I'm officially losing my voice. I'm literally crying <laughs> from coughing. I'll end with this. Uh, you guys should check out Lead Base Pro. We've got this big discussion going on about Andromeda. We've got people talking about it. 359 entrepreneurs in there learning about lead gen. I'm not going to upsell you some bogus course. I just updated the course about with all this Andromeda stuff. So we're always putting work into this. We've updated it completely like three times. Would love to see you there. Holy smokes. I'm going to go take a nap. Bye.